All right, so what we're going to start studying is right triangle trigonometry. Okay, so trigonometry just means the study of triangles. So we're going to start today with story time. So a long, long time ago, Pythagoras and his friends were studying right triangles. Okay, and so we know Pythagoras from Pythagorean theorem as far as a squared plus b squared equals c squared, but he also had a hand in realizing that right triangles can be similar. So they started looking at right triangles, okay, and they decided that if you have two right triangles that had another angle in common, I'm just going to make something up, like 18 degrees, then these two triangles have to be similar because of angle-angle. So what they did was they started compiling all these ratios. Anytime you had a right triangle with another 18 degree angle, the sides had to be, the corresponding sides had to be in, in um, a specific ratio to each other. So they're proportional. So what they did was they started creating a table of values. So I'd picked 18, but let's just say 10. So they realized they had a right triangle. Okay, we have a right angle. They have a 10 degree angle as well. They realized that two of the sides are in a ratio of 0.17 to 3, 6 to 1. And then two different sides are in a ratio of 0.9848 to 1. And two different sides, again, a combination of different sides, is in a ratio of 0.17 to 63. Okay, so they compiled all of these and found all this, and they created what are called trig tables. Now, we're not going to use trig tables, but trig tables are actually stored inside your calculator. What we're going to focus on before we get into all of this, we're going to just focus on what's called sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay, and these are just names of ratios. Here's what it looks like. So the sine of an angle means that you're comparing the opposite side to the hypotenuse. So this is why we were doing opposite adjacent hypotenuse in the lesson before. Okay, so the cosine of an angle compares the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, and the tangent compares the opposite side to the adjacent side. Now, this, how I have listed here, is how we abbreviate sine, cosine, and tangent. It is not sin, cos, and tan. Please don't say that. It sounds ignorant. Don't, don't say that because math is not a sin. All right, so now what we're going to do today is just look at the ratios. Okay, so you might want to write these ratios down so you have them somewhere. Sometimes people use the phrase so katoa. I'll write it out. to help them remember the ratios. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So that, if you ask like older siblings or something, they'll usually remember the phrase so katoa. But that is um, a quick way to memorize these ratios. So the first thing we're gonna do with them is just identify what sides we're comparing, really. All right, so first thing I'm going to find is the sine of A. I'm going to write so Katoa up here. All right, so the sine of A, that tells me my point of reference. So that means I'm going to position, position myself at A, and I know sine compares the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay, now, if I look at my triangle, the opposite side of A would be 4, but I don't have anything labeled on my hypotenuse. Okay, but we have to remember, because this is a right triangle, we can use Pythagorean theorem. So we can say 3 squared plus 4 squared equals what squared? And we should recognize it as a 3, 4, 5, but this side is 5. So when I go to fill in my hypotenuse, it's just going to be 4 over 5. So the sine of A, the ratio, is going to be 4 over 5. That's all we're going to do with it at this point. All right, what if we look at the sine of B? Okay, sine of B, so my point of reference changes. Okay, again, it's opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite of B is 3. My hypotenuse is still 5. Okay, now let's go cosine of A. So we're back to red, this angle A here. Cosine, if we look at my ratio up here, is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent to A would be 3. The hypotenuse is still the hypotenuse, so that's 5. If I think about the cosine of B, that's my blue angle again. Okay, we know it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent to B would be 4. The hypotenuse is still 5. 
All right, now let's take a look at the tangents. So tangent is opposite over adjacent. So if I look at tangent of A, the red angle here, tangent of A, opposite over adjacent. So the opposite side would be four, the adjacent side would be three. Okay, last one, the tangent of B. So again, my point of reference is at B. Opposite of B is three, and the adjacent to B is four. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. Um, but what we're gonna do now is use those ratios to kind of work backwards a little bit too. So we're gonna start over here on the left. Okay, we are given that the sine of A is 20 over 29. All right, so let's write, I'm gonna write Sokotoa up here again. Okay, so we know sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So I have a little triangle drawn down here. So the sine of A is equal to 20 over 29. That means the opposite side has to be 20 and my hypotenuse has to be 29. Now, because this has to be a right triangle, I can solve for the missing side. All right, so using Pythagorean theorem, I can solve for my missing side and I get that it's 21. All right, so now, now that we know that the sine of A is 20 over 29, we solve for our missing side, which was 21. Now I wanna find the cosine of A. So the cosine of A is gonna be adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's gonna be 21 over 29. The tangent of A, going down here to A again, is gonna be opposite over adjacent. So opposite over adjacent, so it'd be 20 over 21. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Okay, so it says the tangent of B is seven over 24. Okay, so again, my point of reference is at B. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So it's gonna be opposite over adjacent, so that's gonna be seven over 24, which means I need to find my hypotenuse. My hypotenuse then is gonna be 25. Now, let's go ahead and find now the sine of B. So the sine of B is opposite over hypotenuse, so that's gonna be seven over 25. The cosine of B is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse or 24 over 25. All right, last one. Last one here, we have the cosine of C is 60 over 61. So cosine, that is adjacent over hypotenuse. That means the adjacent side is 60, the hypotenuse is 61, so we need to solve for the missing side. So using Pythagorean theorem, I can do 61 squared minus 60 squared is actually gonna give me 11 squared. All right, so our missing side is 11. So I wanna find the sine of C so that's opposite over hypotenuse. So we have 11 over 61. The tangent of C is opposite over adjacent. So it'd be 11 over 60. So your assignment today is gonna have some ratios like this where you're working to find the missing, the missing side and then finding a ratio. It's also just gonna be some pretty straightforward, simple setting them up.